rest from separate countries. We're going to focus on that match between Vititsan and Wang Suwei, the winner of which will face either one of the reigning world champion, Victor Axelson, or HS Pranoy, the Indian number nine seed in the semi-finals. And of course, potentially awaits the likes of Shi Yu Chi, former finalist, Kodai Naraoka, a young and upcoming star. But that's for the future. We're going to focus on the and present. Now, number two, yes. Nancy Kunlabut Vititsan, the finalist Nancy. from last year's world championships Nancy. as we see him there. Nancy. Making his way onto the stage and then he'll make his way down to the courts. He is the world number three, which is the highest ranking that he has been enjoying since June this year. 22 years of age. And, uh, from Chinese Taipei. Wow. He Wang has Shuai. been impeccable so far at the World Championships. He was given a tough time in his last outing against Lakshya Sen, but came through, I would say, in that final game, the second half of the final game with flying colors, and has really announced himself here in Copenhagen. But what about this man, Wang Su Wei, the world number 29, 28 years of age from Chinese Taipei? What a match he had against Li Shifeng yesterday. He blew away the competition, if I could use those words, because he was absolutely clinical against the number six seed. And we'll be looking to replicate that form against the Titsan, as we see Wang Su Wei step onto court, getting ready for the coin toss. This will be their fourth meeting. And history, of course, favors okay, Vititsan. They've red. Would like to met three times before, and it's 3-0 in Vititsan's favor. Black, up to you. That side, serve or receive? Receive. You are serving. So Wang Suwei wins the toss, chooses ends. He's opting to go on the far end. And uh, that means that Kundlovic gets the choice of either serving or receiving. He chooses to receive. Wang Suwei will serve. Now, yesterday, the end that Wang Suwei chose was proving to be the more aggressive, attacking, favorable end for players. So it's not surprising that Wang Suwei has chosen to go down that route. He needs to hit the ground running. He last met at the Japan Open, these two, just uh, a few weeks ago in the first round. And Kun Lavud Vititsan won that 21-15, 21-16 from Bangkok, Thailand. 22-year-old has a win-loss record of 28 to 9 this year. And if you look at the quarterfinals, it's even more impressive. His win-loss record at quarterfinals this year stands at 5 to 1. His only quarterfinal loss this year was at the Japan Open, which was his last tournament, incidentally, where he lost to Jonathan Christie, 21-16, 21-16. So it is a near perfect quarterfinal record this year for Kun Lavud Vititsan. In his career, it's 22 to 8. He's only lost eight quarterfinals in his entire career. Looking at his road to the quarterfinals, as I mentioned, smooth sailing in the first two rounds against Brazilian opponents. He saw them off in straight games. But against Lakshya Sen, the number 11 seed, he was pushed all the way 21 14, 16, 21, 21 13. But it was the way he played that third game and in the second half, especially. That really was impressive. Wang Su Wei from Taipei, that's where he's born, ranked 29, as I mentioned, has broken into the top 10. That was in February of 2021. His win-loss record before the World Championships was not made for happy reading, 7 to 15. So a lot more losses than wins, almost double the losses. In quarterfinals, it stands at one zip. He's only Ready played play. one quarterfinal, and he's won that, which is good news indeed. Looking at how he came through to this quarterfinal, of course, Lu Guangzhou in the second round pushed him to three games, and he bounced back from that in very, very impressive fashion when he took on Li Shifang, beating him, beating him in straight games, the number six seed. We see the officials for this match. Fabio Beto of Italy is your umpire. Fabio Lopez from Brazil is your service judge. So the only quarterfinal that Wang Su Wei played in 2023 was at the Chinese Taipei Open, where he beat Lin Chun Yi 21-13, 24-22. So he's got a winning record 
as far as 2023 is concerned in the last eight stage. Now, how much of that will come into play? Only time will tell. For both these men, everything in the past, I'm sure, is shut it off. And it's all On about the moment at hand. One, two away. Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Kun Lawut, Pritik San, Thailand. So Wang Suwei will serve to get this men's singles quarterfinal underway. Love all. Play. Red's run out. We saw him do this quite well One. yesterday, Wang Suwei, when he patiently built up a point and then went for that very fast-paced smash, either down the line or cross-court. And it was very good against Li Shifang. However, Kunlavut Vititsan, who is a very good rallier and defensively strong, will be able to probably address that a lot better. It's landed out as well. Yeah, that's the driftier end. We're down to two courts now, of course, at the Royal Arena from four. I wonder if the conditions have altered that at all. But I can say with full confidence that the right-hand side of your screen is the driftier end. Lovely net shot, that one. He's happy to play the patient game with its son. So we see that straight away. Gets into the long rally. It's a high lift. And it's put away well by Wang Suwei. He goes for so accuracy so one, on that one, two, finds the line, and is on the scoreboard. It was a very high lift that with its son was forced to make there. Opened up a window of opportunity for Wang Tsui. Two, oh. Mm. Again. Nice little net shot. He does have a good variety in his game. Wang Tsui. Oh, beautiful. Unfortunately, just Once missed the line, but that's out. down the line smash is a thing of beauty. He's challenged it, which I think is quite a wise decision because it was pretty close to the line. Well, it is unsuccessful, unsuccessful with a challenge. challenge. It is out. Remaining. It was the right decision by the line judge. Service over. Met three twice two. this year, as I mentioned, the Japan Open was one and also Play. the Singapore Open this year in the first round. Wittitsan won that in three games. He was pushed in that one. That's out as well. That one. Service over. Three. Wittitsan won 21, oh. 15, 14, 21, 28, 26. So we know Wang Sui has that ability. Oh. Service over four. Super three. return. Made it look so easy. Just look at that. That's a low serve, and then Kunlavut just about knowing where to put that shuttle away. Excellently done. Looking for that smash Five. right away. Three. Finds the net instead, and he's just got to be a little bit careful because uh, I'm sure he's looking to close out the points quicker. Kunlavut happy to rally, happy to draw out these exchanges. 
5-3. Under pressure, Wang Suwei makes a mistake. Service over, 4-5. One point game early on. That's out as well. Well left. So he's trying to get that six, four. down the line shot time and time again, Wang Suwei, because it worked so well for him against Li Shifeng yesterday. Kun Lavut, who can change direction, change speed so well. Look at that. And again. Ah. Too good. Service over. Goes for the steeper net shot there. Wang. Playing in his fifth World Championships. Made his debut in 2018. Wang Suwei. This year will undoubtedly be his best finish to be here at the quarterfinals. Really nice Service net shot again. Seven, so close. Five. From Vititsan. It is that one. Again, with the lift. Here. Yeah. That one really was close and hard to play back. Service oh. over. Six, seven. Well, he goes for the. Lower lift. A oh, beautiful backhand. This is good work by Wang Tuwei. No! No! He's taking his time and building Seven. himself oh. up in the rallies. Then that sort of halfway shot from Kun Lavut put away. The first time that these two met was in the Thomas Cup in 2020, in the group stages, and Kun Lawud won that 24 22, 21 17. So, two straight game wins and one that went the distance, but all of them have been really close. Oh, beautiful. He picked out that spot on the court extremely well. Kun Lawud with it, son. Yeah, very confident hitting from the 22-year-old. Third World Championships for him. We lost in the first round in 2021 on debut. And of course, last year, we know he got to the finals where he beat, he lost to Axelson, I beg your pardon, in two games. Back on level scores now. <laughs> That's a good shot. Straight at Richard Sun's body, that one. It's very difficult for him to play as he tries to move the shuttle away from his abdomen area. He aimed it straight at him. Smartly played. Four hundred and eighty-three. That's a 
pretty fast shuttle coming at you. That's tip for tap. Service so over nine all. Kunlavut also going for the flat forehand aimed at the body. Well, that side is going to be tricky. Wang Suwei having no choice then, as it was the part of the court that was left empty. But with the drift, it's a tricky side to play. Flash. Yes. I think the number of is just pointed out a flashlight in the crowd which can be Ten, extremely nine. distracting you catch the player's eye very quickly that's out as well Well, if you're wondering what all the noise is, I can tell you that Denmark's Kim Astrup and Anders Karabriasmussen have just won their quarterfinal and guaranteed themselves a medal. So the crowd uh, erupted. They beat the world number twos. And here we are on the court two with Kunavut Vititsan just edging Wang away at the moment. Again, a nice net exchange. Pounced on it at the end. And it's 11 10 up. For two twenty seconds, for two twenty seconds. Coaches. Coaches, Back on court. And it's been very, very close. Both players Eleven, trading blows early ten. on in this first game. Kunlavut just managing to stay ahead most of that Great. game so far. It really could go either ways, the way this half has been played out. That's beautiful. That is impressive work by Kunlavad Viditsan. He draws Wang Tsui in, creates that little space on the left-hand corner. That's well thought out. Thank you. It's a two-point lead, which I think is the most that Kunlovut has had in this game 10. so far. We saw it at True Love and then at 5-3 and then again at 7-5. It's not been able to go beyond that. It's called in. In fact, that is right 13, on the line. 10. You can see the little fist pump there at the end. As he has been searching for the lines, Vititsan. Trying to find and carve out the spaces on the court. Yeah. First time in the game, he's won three points in a row. Called in 
That's well placed. Service over 11 13. Landed behind Richard San so much so that there was no way that he could really play it back. He had to watch the shuttle drop. Even if he did manage to return it, I think the shuttle was dropping so fast that. Blight. Would have been a very late return. It wouldn't have been high enough as well. Two point game. 12 13. The other thing, of course, of, that's I'm sure playing on the players' minds, whether they like it or not, as much as they must be trying to put that away, is that the winner here gets a medal. So this is, you know, a chance to win a World Championships medal. To, if you can win this game, which is a target for all badminton players on tour. Let's say that. Mititsan again taking control in that mid-court area. We've seen him put those forehands away quite easily when he comes forward. That area specifically on the right hand has been a favored spot. That completely so mm -hmm. hit that going for the cross court drop there. Mm -hmm. He's judged the length on that shot. The high left. Yeah, he's been forcing Wang Suwei to play on that right hand side, and I'm sure much to his delight, it's landed in Wang Suwei. He judged that length to perfection because it finds the corner. And he's leveled the scores once more. Service it's over. that injection of speed that 15, really 40. can be so dangerous. We saw him do that with Lakshya Sen extremely well, especially in the third game. He's picked up the pace off his shots, added a bit of urgency to it. I think he uses that every time he finds himself in a situation where it's looking a little precarious. So it's fourth goal, too high. Oh, it's too so high. It's the first one of the game. That was an aggressive hit by Wang Suwei. He put a fair bit of muscle behind that shot. As I mentioned, it's a packed crowd here at the Royal Arena. And they can be a loud crowd as well, especially when the Danish players are playing, which is fabulous for badminton. It really gives it an energy makes the match and the sport so enjoyable. 17, and Wang away incredibly takes the lead, two-point lead, I should say, for the very first time in this game. Coaches are happy. 18. He's opened himself up there, Kun Lavert. He's well read 15. by Wang Suwei. 
He's happy to stay on that side of the court. And as soon as he saw Kunlavut move or shift slightly to the right, he knew exactly where he wanted to put it. So it's three-point lead now for Wang Suwei. That's landed out. He's going to challenge it. Called out. It is called out. The line judge was a little bit hesitant, but has decided to stay with the challenge. Wow, that was a Correction. great challenge. It is in, and it is in by a whisker. So over. 16, 18. Fantastic challenge by Richard San there. Makes it a two-point game again. Play. Which has been pretty much the trend throughout this opening game. How quick was that? Service over 1916. Jumped on that opportunity, Wang Suwei. Just a couple of steps back, gets the jump smash in, goes cross court. And he puts it away nicely. Low serve. Good decision by Mitsitsa. So he's two 19. points behind Wang Su Wei, who needs two points to clinch his first game. It is going to get tense now. If it hasn't already been tense. That's well oh. played. Really well played. How good was that? He intercepted that so well. Mitted son. Went in the right decision. He went made the right decision to go to the right hand side and then intercepted the shuttle. Played the flat forehand. Super quick. Called in, it's on the line and on the money. Sets up two game points for game point. Wang Wei. It's a confident shot by the 28-year-old. His down-the-line winners have been absolutely masterful. Good rally. Kunlovut desperately making saves. But Wang Su Wei is feeling his badminton for sure at the moment. There have been some aggressive, confident shots that have come off from the Chinese Taipei Shuttler's racket. Again, Kunlovut just moving from end to end desperately, which meant that Wang Su Wei is in complete control. And then kills off the point to make sure that he's taken the first game 21-18 in 22 minutes. ตอนนี้เวลาช้าแล้วมันไม่ใช่ว่าช้าต้องขึ้นช้าแล้วดูพอช้าปุ๊บเขาจะถอยไปก่อนวางก่อนเห็นมั้ยดึงวางกลับด
像教练这样讲的啊，你你你自己把这个球控制好，角度不要太大，要不然你有时候太大，你看大家都、嗯、角度大不好，不好连不好连贯。There's plenty of thinking in court. to do for the number three seed Kunlavut Viditsan who finds himself a game One. down 18 21 in the first. And she lost to second game. Wang Su Wei has a 20 to 9 winning record versus top 30 players. Kun Lavud this year he won, of course, the India Open by defeating Lovell. Axelson in three games. And one of Flight. three players to beat Victor Axelson this year is Vititsan. In fact, he was the only one to beat him in a final. That's how good his game has grown to be. As we see him put that away easily. He and Cho Tian Chen and Ang Ze Yong are the three players who've been beaten Axelson this year. Of course, that is a bit of a benchmark given how dominant Axelson has been in the men's singles discipline. Have a white quickly. Wang away in 2023 has lost all his matches before the World Championships to top 10 players. Okay. In fact, he, the win over Li Shifang yeah. yesterday play must be continuous, okay. was yeah. his first top 10 win of the year. One, One can only imagine what kind of confidence play. boost that must have One. given him. Two, love. Now that Vichitsan is on the other end, it'll be interesting to see how much he capitalizes on being on the more favored end. Three. Long Suey has a 0 to 9 record against top 10 players in 2023. He's played nine matches against top 10 players and lost all of them. That is, of course, prior to the World Championships. Li Chi Fang, his most recent and biggest conquest. Four. Love. In fact, the last top 10 player to beat him was Vititsan at the Japan Open. And this is. Exactly the response Kunlavut would have wanted, having gone down that first game. He's on the more attacking end. That's huge. Five. So. Love. Fabulous three-shot strategy from Vititsan. Uh, Pushes Wang Su Wei back, opens up the court, goes the other way. He's using those steeper six smashes and forehands now at will. Wang Su Wei pretty much left helpless. Six straight points for the world number three. In double quick time, that too. Low serve. Oh, how about that for Seven. a net exchange? Love. And a winner at the net. Kun Lovett showing he can do both. To absolute perfection, that one goes for the net roll, catches the top of the net, lets it roll over. Well defended. Back 
in control here is Vitit Sun. And Wang Suwei showing me too. Service over. One, seven. Can control and deliver these winners at the net. Patiently just pushes the shuttle over on the forehand. This way. See, gently yeah. slipped and Can gets himself this? over. Thank you. Mongsui's best finish this year was to get to the semi-finals of the Chinese Taipei Open, where he lost to Dwi Wardoyo in two games. Looking to repeat Cho Tianchen's feat from last year One, and reach the semi-final and secure a bronze right. medal. And he is certainly taking the advantage here. In this quarter final. An injection of pace straight down the line. He has Two, been excellent seven. with those winners. Again, just chooses to go straight down. Gets that pace on that shot. So both these players adopting similar so tactics at the moment. Using their power. A lot more to close out the points. Not surprising to see Vititsan do that. Service over three, eight. He is making the most of being on the far end of the court. Eight, Took that early, Vitted Sun. But Wang Suwei was ready. Four, At the net. Eight. That one there was almost reactionary from Vitidsan. Just couldn't get it over. It's out. Five, Try to get behind eight. his opponent. Couldn't love it with it, son. Unsuccessfully. And just look at Vititsan's year. Six, eight. Quickly. 14 times that Vitit San has been pushed to three games this year. Thank you. Gentlemen, we need to speed up a little bit, huh? The rhythm. 6-8. Six, six, And looks 14 times, seven times he's come from behind to win. Four, service yes. over. Yeah, Nine, he just six. Failed to get there in time and get under the shuttle properly, Wang away. <laughs> I knew it straight away when his racket got under that shuttle. You just have to look at Richard Sun's run at the US, sorry, at the Thailand Open. 
where he won the title. Service over. And seven, nine. Four of the five matches that he played, all of them will come from behind wins. In the first round against India's Mitun Majnunat. In the second round against Chico Aradui Verdoyo. In the quarterfinal against Lu Guangzhou. And then the semifinals against Lakshya Sen. Only in the final did he beat Lee Chuk Hyu in straight games. So he knows plenty about seeing these kind of games through. But once Eight, away, nine. let's take nothing away from him. He has now just gone on a very impressive run because he was 2-8 down. It's been 8 of the last 10. Straight at Wang Shui. It was impossible to play back. Vitetson, of course, apologizes. But that is one of the best ways to ensure that the point is yours, that you hit that forehand straight towards Wang Shui's body. Goes for the body shot. Opens up a two point lead again as we near the mid game break. In the middle, on the line, on the line. Thank you. Wait. Ten eight. Service over, 9, again. 10. That corner, you've got to be wary of. Sometimes there's no choice if that is the open end. And again, it's landed out. Kunlevat has not been very successful when he tries to get behind Wang Tsui. His lead now fully vanished. He was six points ahead at one point at one stage in this game. Four, eleven, ten, interval. So Wang Chuei turns this around fabulously. He was trailing two eight at one point in this game and is now in the lead at the break at eleven ten. Comes from behind to steal the lead from Vititsan. Fifteen minutes played, and it's Wang Suwei who is a game and a point up. Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. Coaches, two chairs, 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 two three games. Three game matches, I should say, eight times this year. It's only one, two of them. So it's in Kunlovud's best interest to try and get this into three games. Of course, that would also mean keeping his 11, World Championships four. campaign alive. That is a no brainer. But if he does manage to do that, previous history of Wang Subay's matches favors Kunlovud. And two times he did win the matches in three. One was against Lu Guangzhou in this tournament alone. 12, 11.
And the other one was in the Australian Open against Jeon Hyuk Jin of Korea in the first round. So it's been recently that he's been able to come and conquer three game winners. One, two, and it challenges. Called in. Called in. And he'll challenge that. Wangs away. On the line. Challenge unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 13. Sound. 11. Opens up a two point lead. He's got some fans in the crowd. Good love it, Richard Sun. Much appreciated of that support. Lots of badminton fans in Denmark, of course. I'm sure they follow. All these top class players through the year. I'm happy to see them in their own backyard. It's a rare opportunity to see the best in the 14, world. 14 11. 14 11. Of course, Denmark gets that quite every year with the Denmark Open. Where the Super 750 what? attracts the biggest names. 14-11. This is good work from Vititsan. On four on the trot. That's really good work by Wang Su Wei, who's found himself back in this point. Solid defense. Slower drop shot does the trick. Finds the mid court. 15 11. Yeah. Backhand clear from Wang Su Wei. Allows Kunlavut Raditsa on lots of time and space to choose his shot. He goes for the slower drop. He's really 11. stepped on the pedal here, Vitit San. Completely different player the, after the break. He's won six straight points now. He was 10 11 down at the break and now leads 16 11. And again, oh, it's called in. 17. Right 11. on the line. Beautifully struck. That's a delightful shot. And Wang Su Wei just Service again over 12, going into that preferred 17. left hand corner. Quite easily stops a seven point run by Vititsan. He completely catches Vititsan off. God. Yeah, good defending again. <laughs> In the end, he had no choice but to just brush it away from his body. Service over 18. He's coming at him really fast. The shuttle. Kunlavut again injecting the pace into his shot there. Just brushes it away from his body. Wang away. Six point lead. 19 12. Mm. That was misjudgment. Maybe a little rushed. You see him rethink his footwork. Found the 20. line, and Game with point. that, 
He's got 12. eight game point opportunities. Kunla with Vititsan is a completely different player now after the break. He's turned it on. Wang Suwe managing with that. Service over. Just two 13. points since the 20. restart. Well defended again. Oh, it's out. Landed wide. 14, 20. Two game points saved. Drops in the middle. Yep, really there. hard. Thank you. To hit an accurate smash when the lift is as high as it is. Put the light in your eyes as well. Vititsan has plenty 14, of chances 20. still to try and close this game out. Oh, how about that? 15, 20. That was glorious. On the backhand, had his back to the court and the net. Gets the cross court net shot there. Sublime. A little bit lucky, but it pays off. As Kunlavut Vititsan seals the second game, 21 15. 15. One game on all. The fourth game point opportunity. Goes for the smash. Just clips the top of the net and rolls over, lands within the lines, most importantly. And he'll take it. So it's Vititsan who's leveled the scores. 21-15 in the second, in 25 minutes. Coaches, to your chairs. So we go into a decider. Kunlavut Vititsan keeps his World Championships campaign alive by clinching the second game 21 15. It was the second half of that game that he really stepped Final on the gas. Game. He won 11 of 14 points Level. in the second half to make sure Play. this match went into a third. Change of ends. And it'll be interesting to see how Wang Suwe responds. As I mentioned, he's not got the best record when it goes to three games this year. He's won two of eight. Oh, wow. What a save. Left it late. And on the line, both men. Absolutely stunning badminton in that point. Look at that. Look how long he held it for with its son. But Wang Suwe with the perfect response just pushes the shuttle away from him and finds the outside line. Oh, 
definitely stepped up the pace here. Quick fire exchanges between the two. Love. And you realize that they're playing, obviously, in the middle of the court, but also aiming it quite close to each other's bodies. Difficult to play. net roll and again flat forehand exchanges couldn't have it with it son puts it away calmly into the far corner one two that was a nice net roll from once away but look at Vitit San's reaction there he sees the spot clearly and that is a well-executed shot. That time, though, Two, couldn't four. get the shuttle to roll over. A backhand net. Two eight. Turn the shuttle. It's level scores. Got the feeling that Wang Suwei has to capitalize on being on the far end in this first half. Try and open up a gap here. If not, three, two. You'd be certain that Kunla Vititsan will save his best for the second half. It's landed out. And again, he's Four, tried to go behind Vititsan, didn't work. This time he opted for the down-the-line shot. And that time too, he missed it by quite a bit of space. Defensively solid with it, son. You can't get past him, and that's why he jumps on every opportunity. Alangsu Wei was the one who started aggressive in that point, but Vititsan goes for the body shot. Make sure the point is his. Thank you. On the floor. Not much to do, but get out of the way, really. Three-point lead for the third seed. Looking to win back-to-back -back medals, which Five, no Thai two, men's singles player has done at the World Championships. What a moment that will be eight. for this 22-year-old. It's just 22 years of age. Shuttle, you ask right after the rally. Don't take time. If he books okay? a place All right. you are in the semi-finals. I don't want to use card, but I have it, okay? Keep on playing. That's a guaranteed Five, bronze. And you can see that the umpire, Fabio Beto, is not happy with Wang Suwei. Wasting time asking for the shuttle to be changed too late and not asking the umpire as such, or directing it to the umpire early enough. Again. Goes for the high lift. Yeah, good save. And again, he goes for the slower net shot. Couldn't have it. It's a good rally. Oh, that was too good by Wang Suwei. Again, just patiently waiting for his chance. Three, five. Kunlavut 
having to make a few saves in that rally, but in the end, couldn't get, cover the court on the other side fast enough. And suddenly going to yeah. take a toll out of Wang Sui. It's a physically challenging game. We're nearing the one hour mark. And of course, it's going to push the 28 year old to the brink. It's probably the biggest match of his life this year. Looking for a bronze medal in the World Championships. He has surprised many by getting to the quarterfinals. But he did so very successfully and confidently. As we see. It's coming, coming. Thank you. I think. They've asked to change or wipe down the court because it's really very wet. It's a physically taxing game, this, and it's not surprising that both men are uh, sweating, and that drops of sweat is, of course, makes the court wet and slippery and can cause injury, which we don't want to see at Hola, all. Are you okay? There, this one. It's okay. I think there was some blood on the court as well, which needed to be wiped off. So Fabio better check whether Kunlavut's knee is Thank okay. You. Needs any medical attention? Everything seems to be okay. Shot of there. So, 5-3 up in the third is Kunlavut Vichitsan. 3-5. Looking for his second Play. straight semi-final spot at the World Championships. Charging so forward. Six, three. Kills off the point, and that too through the legs of Wang Su Wei. Impossible to play. That's a beauty. Round the head, cross court smash. So over. Four, six. Doesn't waste any time. Wang Suwei gets on that shuttle as quickly as he can and makes sure gets him the winner. And again, goes for the smash, goes for the aggressive shot, but in love with Vititsa. Seven, four. Defends well in that point. We're seven four up. Seems to be a lot more in control Eight, now, the world four. number three. He's Shuttle. finding the open spaces and court a lot more easily. Seems to move Wang Sui around a lot better, a lot more. Defensively solid. 
absorbs the attack well, changes the pace. This is another good rally. Oh, beautiful drop shot. And he is ready on the follow-up, Matitsan. Nine, four. That drop shot was beautiful, and then he read the return so well because Bang Suwei would probably have no other choice but to just lift, which he did. And Kunlavut was there, ready to take it on. Asking for medical attention now, Wang Suwei. We've hit the hour mark here in this quarterfinal. I think he needs a spray. The magic uh, spray. He says he needs spray on the calf. On the calf, I believe. You see the tape there as well. These men have been pushed physically. Had to not only play the wrong long rallies, but then play powerful shots. Use that energy. And you just think that purely based on age, Mutitsan has the slight edge. But Wang Suwei has shown that he is no pushover. He is here to play, which is fantastic news for Wang Suwei fans, for Chinese Taipei badminton fans. Ready? 9-4. We're ready to resume. Nine, four. Play. Very high left. Well defended by Wang Tsu Wei. Unlucky. Ten, four. He did extremely well to absorb all of those attacks from Vititsan. Wang Tsu Wei. And that one was a little too difficult. I almost had to take it at knee level to return it. 10 4. Pounced on that one. He was ready for it at the net. Kunlavut Vititsan. And make sure that it's 11 4 in his favor. From Love 2 down, he hasn't really looked back. See that net shot. Played it to perfection. There were 10 of the last 12 shots or points, Vititsan. 11 of the last 12 points to make sure that he was in the lead. Thank you. 11 4. 
play. Can love it with its own back on court. With a comfortable seven point lead. Had a long marathon match yesterday as well against Lakshya Sen. And said after that match that there are no easy matches. Everyone's going for the medal now from this stage. Sevisova, no matter who he plays, the 11. opponent on the other side is going to be a tough one. Everyone has a medal in their sights. Isn't he right? Over 12, Struggling with those five. net clears now, runs away. This could be but he's physically and mentally tired. Things that were coming to him a lot easier in the first game, not so much now. 13-5. Quinn Robert is... Definitely not making it easy. Yeah. Again, just going behind him. Reacts too late. Well, that. Uh, 14 5. Nine point lead. Nice exchange between these two, both playing patiently taking their time and obviously need the time to reset as well. Oh, he took it late with a risky move from the Titsan. Monk's way is struggling at the moment physically. Got a tape six got a sprayed on his calf or got his calf sprayed not so long ago just to provide him some relief you could see the tape running all the way up on the right calf Excellent net exchange. And then the lovely drop. Seven, Sitted son. 40. Unable to move, really, from the spot. And look how he jumps to disguise that drop shot. To wait. There's too much walk around and delay from your side. One, two way warning for misconduct. Delay. One, two way has been warned because he's walking around and wasting time too much. Seven, the umpire 14. Fabio Beto had warned him earlier as well to get on and get ready quickly. Kulabo Vitisan challenges. Called out. Called and out. Vitisan has challenged the decision. Monks away 
left it pretty confidently as well. And so the line judge also was pretty confident when she made that call. Yeah. It is challenge up. unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Still has a challenge left in this third game with its son. 8 40. This is. Blank. Good little spell from Monks away. He knows he's trailing by a large margin, but he's managed to pull back three points in a row. Pulled out as well. Service over 15. And you can't eight. afford to give away points like that. I know that's the driftier end, and it's harder to control length but then if you're taking that risk you need to be about 100 percent sure it's going to land in Otherwise, you're giving the point away a situation that is already difficult service over 9 15. Net exchange again. Oh, beautiful. That is what he's Ten, been so 15. good at throughout this tournament. Those down the line winners. Perfectly struck by Wang Su Wei. It's a glorious shot. Can you tell it? Yeah. So Kunlovit Vititsan has now narrowed the gap down to five points, having won five of the last six. Ten, fifteen. The question is, can he push on? Umpire asking for. Yes. Or attention from the referee's desk. I think someone had their Blank. flashlight on again. As we see on the other court that Denmark world number one, Victor Axelsson is about to get his quarterfinal underway, therefore the crowd is making some noise. There's plenty of support. This is his home tournament after all. They will tell the spectator. They will announce. The referees say play on. I think there is issues with flashlights again. And the flashlight is obviously getting in the player's way. Disappointed with dead. that Wang Su Wei. He 
nearly had him there. As Kunlawit was rushing forward to make the net shot. Yeah. Feel that he's ruining some of these mistakes. Then finds the spot really well. Oh, it's landed in. Very well executed by Wang Chu Wei. 12-17. Pretty much opened up the entire court there because Kunlevut Mitutsan was recovering from that cross-court forehand. She managed to save, but that had the entire court at Wang Chu Wei's disposal. On your right? Yes. Thank you. Still a five-point game in Richardson's favor. Twelve seventeen. Oh, well saved. Quickly back on his feet is Vititsan. And again at his body. Good defending from Wang Su Wei, but in the end, Vititsan finds the spot. Service over 18 12. That was a good save. Back on his feet. Turns it into an attacking exchange. Time and again, aiming at Wang Su Wei's body, who does well to shift, but then. Plays it on his backhand. Yeah. Three points away from a bronze medal is Kunlavut Vititsan. Looking to become 18, the first 20. Thai player in men's singles to win back to back World Championship medals. Instinctive play from Matitsan and Wang Su Wei. That was a fantastic shot. He almost did a pirouette there on the court. And just when you think that Matitsan's the one who's in control of this exchange, look at how Wang Su Wei maneuvers around the court, pushes Matitsan back, and then a backhand kill shot. Hard to play, it was coming so quite at a steep 19, angle. 30. For Wang Su Wei, who was quite far back as well. Couldn't get the height on that backhand. Get ready. Two points away oh. from a big win. We've had 78 minutes of play. This has been no easy task for Kunla Budvitsa. So got to keep his wits about him. That's a highlight. Who's going to blink first? Playing slightly safer margins.
Oh, saves it, bounces away. And the slower drop shot from Kunla with Vititsan turns out to be a master stroke. That's seven match points here. Yeah. 2013, but it was that lovely drop the shot at the end. The 54 shots along this rally coming Thank at you. match. At the setup of match point. That's how taxing this quarterfinal Thank has you. been for both players. A second successive okay. semi-final for Kunlavut Vititsan at the World Championships as he sees away the challenge of Wang Suwe in a long and hard battle. 80 minutes it took the world number three to get that quarter-final victory over the Chinese Taipei Shakla, the world number 20 wine. It is Vititsan who is Match through. After runs away, 21, 15, sends that 21, 13. backhand clear, well long, and Vititsan guarantees himself a medal at the World Championships as a result. Much to the relief and delight of his coaches, Kunlat with Vititsan. Through to the semi finals. 18 21, 21 15, 21 13 in 80 minutes. That is the result on court two in this men's singles quarter final. Coming up, it's men's doubles action. And well, it is the world champions, Aaron Chia and So Yik who will look to defend their title as they take on China's Liu Yuxin and Ou Xuanyi in the quarterfinal.
quarterfinals day here at the Royal Arena in Copenhagen. We're coming to you live for the Total Energies BWF World Championships 2023. And here on court two, we're moving on to the seventh match of the day, and that's men's doubles action that's coming your way. The number four seeds from Malaysia, Aaron Chia and So Wu Yik, will take on the number six seeds from China, Liu Yuchun and Oh Shuani. That's the match that's coming up. If we look at that men's doubles draw, we can see that uh, two semi-final places have been booked. Astrup and Rasmussen from Denmark carrying home hopes, uh, beat Rankaredi and Shetty in straight games. And then they will...